blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time it's going to make you attain whatever stature that christ wants you to attain thank you one of the greatest secrets in my life is the ability to allow the holy spirit to open up scripture open up scripture open up scripture John chapter 16, please. We'll begin our reading from verse 12. John chapter 16. We'll begin our reading from verse 12. Read with me, please. One, two, read. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Why? Because you are natural and these things are spiritually discerned. Are we together? Verse 13. How be it when he, the what? The spirit of truth. Not just the Holy Ghost. The spirit of truth is come. What will he do? Please talk to me. He will guide you through the book. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He will show you. And you seen it all through scripture. People are shown things. People are shown things. If you are not shown anything, you will continue bragging around with scripture and never have results. Your assignment is not just to sit down and read your Bible religiously. Your assignment is among other things to cry for the manifestation of the spirit of truth. All scripture was inspired by him. He knows the codes that are enshrined in this book, but it is sealed. It will take hunger to cry for him. But brothers and sisters, when he comes and opens it to you, you and all others will stand in awe of your destiny. This is the mystery behind great men. This is the mystery behind great destinies. A spirit came to them and showed them things whether it is in the occult or in the faith life nobody rises without being shown things he must show you and i was taken in the spirit ezekiel and i was shown this what have you been shown or what have you been reading you have been reading in the name of jesus i will never be poor you have been reading he owns the cattle on a thousand hills you have been quoting it you have been doing everything but you are just reading potentials it is sealed when the spirit comes he will not quote the scripture he will show you the quote in the scripture when the holy spirit comes he will not tell you no 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 he will show you something that may not make sense for another person there's something god showed me about the anointing there's something god showed me about growth there's something god showed me about victory there's something god showed me on how to deal with enemies whatever is not shown you becomes the gate to your destruction you have to find out what you have not seen and cry with all your heart and say lord show me let me tell you how you know you have not sh shown you whenever you do what is supposed to be the obvious solution and it does not work then it means there is more there is more apostle i pay my tithe apostle i give apostle i'm a sincere man of god i study my bible all doors are closed 
there is something that has not been shown you let me use the example of our dear pastor did you think that all the people that rose up for him just came to Asaba in the last two months were they always there so what happened why was the climate harsh over him look how well meaning he is I've been to his meeting once an adorable man of God and his wife it's amazing how life does not give the excuse for you being sincere it doesn't say you are sincere and then no sincerity is not the seed for greatness you can be as sincere as possible and find out that you are a victim of everything bad you know pastors come to me and they say apostle i can stand before god and tell you i love god with all my heart i say i'm a man of god if you are lying i will tell you and then they now say apostle but why is life treating me this way like i told you was it last week or the week before last i begin to nod my head in pain because i know that um the solution is not just to pray there is something that they don't know and my brother my sister until this book is open to you and your eyes see your destiny will remain small we're all gathered today now scattered across inside and outside and those following online because god showed a man something your generation is dependent on what you see they are they are waiting earnestly to say man of god what has god shown you that you can bring to the table if all you are taking to destiny is your degree get set for a big shock if all you are taking is just your sincere heart get set for another shock if all you are taking is your uncles that you know my uncle somewhere my auntie somewhere no i don't study the bible to crime scriptures or to preach i search for light i search for truth there are very few people who ever know how i study the bible because if i teach you it will frustrate you i can stay on a scripture for a long time because there is something i'm searching god can show me like a code i can see half of the truth and see the other part two years later and until i see it i will wait but when that code comes pack 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 the seals are open and the results follow no devil stops it when when the seal is broken and open then your life will be a wonder even to you <laughs> favor is here but is sealed there is a mystery to it the anointing there is a mystery the helpers of your destiny are here the problem is not the book the problem is that it is sealed when you are not aware that the book is sealed then you are in trouble because you will continue to read how many churches have continued to read this every sunday sunday after sunday but there is no one to come to testify that this is what god has done please hear me i want you to learn some of you to take years to understand what i'm sharing with you as simple as it sounds your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your favor is real your power is real i testify when the lord gave me the revelation on the body of christ let me tell you this i didn't read it in any book i remember lying down like a child when the lord came with this scripture for this course the lord began to teach me that there are four encounters the son the spirit the word and the body and that the reason why many people never rise in life is because they've had the three encounters but not the body i said so there is something called an encounter with the body and my life changed every true apostle of the lord must deliver a mystery to a generation there must be something god gives you by the spirit this is not just bible study it is that he comes to you he doesn't come to me every time but he comes i remember when god was delivering to me the secret of church growth i read 
I study, I've studied Young Gicho's materials, studied Bishop Oyedepo's materials, but here he comes. The code for your own destiny given to you that someone else will do and will not work for him because it was open for you. That's why you see people doing things that should not work, but it works. I'm doing my best to try to explain this thing to you. Sometimes it's very difficult to understand, to explain spiritual things. All you see is the result that follows. But behind those results are strange encounters that walk together and they make a way. They make a way. Brothers and sisters, look at me. I love you. That's why I'm teaching this. I can come and just talk to you and we laugh and joke. I am so passionate about your results. And the way many of us are going about it, you will never find it that way. I'm telling you this. I'm saving your life from frustration so that you will not jump like others have done for many years. And then one day you'll find out they are not even in the faith. And they say, don't bring any Jesus talk. I've tried him. It doesn't work. You only tried scripture. When you try the truth, sit back and watch it make a way. Strange ways in the wilderness. Ways that should not be there. The truth will cut a way out of a rock. The truth will cut a way out of a river. And you will cross and they will look back and not be able to find the way again. And they'll say, hey, Jimmy, what way did you follow? And you say, I don't know. The truth just made a way. The Egyptians tried to trace the way that the truth made for the Israelites. They couldn't find it. They drowned. The song of Miriam, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. Even the horses and the rider has been thrown. The same way somebody passes is the same way that kills another person because it has to be a way made by the truth for you. Someone can do a business that lifts him and you do a business the one that kills you because he's sealed. It was not open for you. Someone can use the same word you are speaking to get favor. You will use it and get destruction because you are just speaking. Light of the world You step down into darkness Open my hands Let me see Light of the world you step down into darkness Open my eyes, let me see Sing it one more time You're the light of the world You step down into darkness Open my eyes, let me see Listen When you are not filled with the Holy Spirit you are in a position where you will remain in darkness forever. Jesus himself told us why he sent us the spirit of truth. Not just to pray gibberish in tongues. No. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us men of God. The Holy Ghost was sent to us not to make us pastors. The Holy Ghost was sent as the opener of the sealed book to guide you into all truth. The book is there. But it must be opened by the wisdom and the intelligence of one who is not human. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. He made known unto me. First Corinthians chapter 2. Please give it to us. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Read with me, please. Everyone is projected. Just read and then you write it down. One, two, read. Uh-huh. Not the spirit of the world. Stop. In any case, you must receive a spirit. So there is the spirit of the world that inspires men and opens codes for men based on the laws of life. And they can manipulate it and get some results. And God is saying, so that when you are inspired, you don't think it's the same thing that inspired someone somewhere. There are two spirits. There is the spirit of the world. A man tells you he was just sitting down. 
and he made a discovery it's a lie nobody makes a discovery a spirit comes to you and opens up a portal of a reality and then you quickly scrabble it and walk around it and the whole world marvels and they call you albert einstein and they call you michael faraday and they call you the right brothers the bible is saying there is no such thing as just a human invention by yourself it's not true a spirit must come to you and open up what is sealed but the spirit which is of god why that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. There are things that are freely given. So says the book. But the spirit of God, the spirit of truth comes and opens you. So that you will now comprehend. And then you walk in the reality, the light of it. And my brother, my sister, your life will suddenly change in a way and manner. Your family members will look at you and say, what charm? What did you touch? Look at this. Come promise. If by next week, promise suddenly enters a dimension of the anointing, a dimension of revelation, and let's assume five jeeps come from different people around the world, and is parked in front of his house. Nobody will say promise. So you are this hard working. Someone will call and say promise come. Where did you go to? Who did you meet? We know that the arm of flesh cannot produce that result. Who assisted you? Just tell me. And he will say well it's a long story. Are you ready to do what? I say I'm ready now. Say okay. Meet me by 11.30. Let's go to one corner somewhere. So everyone knows. You would, be, you would be unwise to see what God is doing through my life and this ministry and believe it's just hard work. No. No. What more do you need to see to convince you? No man can do these things except a spirit be with him. With God, all things are possible. Without him on your own, there are things that are not possible. Many of us have been fighting alone. Do, listen to what I'm telling you. And you will watch your life change in a way that will surprise you. I kept thinking about this. And I said, Lord, look at what you've done with my life. All because I saw the Holy Ghost. And I said, Holy Spirit, I am weak. I am dull in myself. I'm not condemning myself. It's the truth. I am ignorant I may not even have the strength but if for any reason you can hold my hand I am available just that one decision turned my life around I shared with you about my dream and vision you will get it in different messages I can't remember when I preached exactly that I saw a whole generation of people crying and they were saying there was no food no water and I wanted to go and rescue them but I was weak in myself but then I was determined to go out the moment I stepped out there was a giant mighty man he just held my hands and said let's go and if our God is for us then help me stop us and if our God is with us then sing one more time and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then we we'll prophesy to yourself. your enemies criticize you and waste their time there is nothing that can be done about a man who the holy ghost has held his hand nothing it's too late once the holy ghost holds your hand and says let's go you will climb mountains and walk through valleys when the door settles you are still standing 
and he will say to you be all the glory and men will say how are you doing it it's not by charms it's not by brain work this is not a plus b no you see that i treasure the holy spirit so much to a point that many people just say oh this 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 spirit thing is too much just focus on the word you keep doing it that way and see whether your destiny will be open i believe in the word but the word is useless until the spirit breathes upon it he is the one who gives life to the word the first the first person of the godhead revealed was him not the word the word came after he was revealed in the beginning look at the order god created the heavens and the earth we didn't have an opportunity to see how that happened in verse 2 there was darkness then the first of the godhead if he was the first in the creation of earth he must be the first in your life too he's showing you how to come out of chaos many of us just stand religiously acts chapter this john chapter this and we keep jumping around and the holy spirit says no it is sealed that's why an unbeliever will carry the bible and all he will see is a compendium of controversies you will see things that don't add up in scripture god saying this one and god saying another thing and saying uh -uh, god says doesn't lie see how many lies he made because you are reading what is sealed but when the spirit of truth comes he will open your eyes others are looking but you are seeing all of a sudden you will see something others are not seeing and then you will walk in a dimension they are not working in i cry to god and say lord this man is a weak man you have to help me and the lord said he will help me and all of a sudden my life changed i'm introducing to you not just a book you have it I'm introducing to you not just tongues you can pray in tongues I'm introducing to you not just God in you you have him in you I'm introducing to you what Yongicho will call Holy Spirit my senior partner if anyone ever tells you what is the secret behind Apostle's life if you say prayer you are lying if you say Bible study you are lying if you say worship you are lying if you say sacrifice you are lying all of those are secrets the greatest secret is that a weak man holds a strong God who makes that weak man a strong man that's what God can do that's what God can do the treasure that is in earthen vessel but held by a superior power that no force no cause no witch no devil can stop He told Joshua, no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Brothers and sisters, don't you see? You have been trying in the flesh. You have been doing, oh, I, I think if I, if I buy one golf now and I do this and I understand this and that investment, I will rise. And the Holy Ghost just stands back and watches the ignorance. And you, I, I know, let me just get one golf. I will be getting 10, 10,000 every week. I'm a smart businessman. Then if I get another job in the bank as you are calculating it, I'm not saying those things are useless. But here he stands, the gentle spirit, watching your ignorance and your pride punish you how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind power at work in you change Swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? It's a little here, a little there. You know devil is at work in you, changing. Holy Ghost, you're the Holy Ghost.
you while you walk. Many people laughed at me years ago for holding his hands. They laughed and today they buried their head in shame for holding my hand. The Holy Ghost is not a president of a nation. The Holy Ghost is not the CEO of a bank. The one who turned chaos in Genesis 1 verse 2 to light holds your hand and someone laughs at you what pride when he held my hands I knew nothing about the anointing when he held my hands I knew I had no zero wisdom you were better than me when he held my hands I wasn't as smart as you but I was stupid enough to hold him and say no matter what it is I hold your hands I hold your hands he will hold your hand as you go to the nations People will talk and say, let's watch what will become of him and swallow their words after many years. Because there is a hand. There is a grace. He is the creative power behind this ministry. The wisdom you see is not the wisdom of a man. You will read books and read books and read books and be tired and never find it. Because it is a, it's sealed. Are we together? Sealed. All of the things I do today about the anointing he taught me. How could I have known? How old am I? Aren't you seeing that what, what is happening is more ancient? Ancient. This is not the wisdom of a man. Kadosh. Kadosh. You are mighty on your of a foolish man outside of him is revealed but when he stands with you thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph listen I say it again there is nothing you can do with a man that the Holy Ghost has held his hands no sir no sir it's a grand formula for victory when he came upon Jesus he turned Jesus to Christos, the Christ. Jesus was just a carpenter's son. Just anyone on the street. But when the Holy Ghost came, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, when he comes to your business, he will change it in a way that will surprise you. The spirit of truth, when he comes to your ministry, listen, let me tell you this. 
I never, listen, I never stop getting amazed at the formula people invent in hope that will work out whether for ministry or whatever. I teach you principles here, but principles will never replace presence. Principles only become useful when presence is intact. God is not science. Listen, oh brilliant people. I may not be as smart as you. And I beg your pardon. But if it has to do with victory in this life, someone must hold your hands and someone must show you. The physical principle of fatherhood should teach us that you never rise alone. Someone must hold your hands and lift you. We have ignored the Holy Spirit because of the embarrassment that follows walking with him. Oh, I tell you, there is big embarrassment walking with him because your way will not be the regular way of people because your life will not be within the context of others. But if you can be foolish to still stay and say, Holy Spirit, where will I go to? Jesus said, will you also go? And they said, to whom shall we go? You alone have the key. I have watched people mock God I have they have not mocked God by mocking God directly they have mocked God by mocking his wisdom ah. there are people looking for anointing reading books getting all kinds of formula do a plus B add C to it then the power of God will move let me tell you this I say this by the authority of the kingdom you are wasting your time God is not a herbalist. It's only a herbalist you can receive charm from without a relationship. But when it comes to God, he will not show you power first. He will reveal himself. Moses wanted to see his glory. He said, no, 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 Moses. I am that I am. Let's, let's discuss first. Every promise God made to me, I have watched it come to pass. As at the time he said it, I never knew how it would happen. But God, when he speaks, be foolish enough to believe that, Lord, you are able. God is able to do strings. Just what he said he will do. He's got a force. not the Holy Ghost you are holding. Koinonia, hear me. I keep introducing him to you. Hold his hands and watch what he will make out of your life. Leave all the, the unwise people who keep mocking God. Just do A and B. C must happen. Who are you to make C happen? How old are you to make C happen? A plus B does not guarantee C in this life. The person to make C happen can die. But when God holds your hand, Anything plus anything can become anything. Doesn't make sense. Look at this. The dear pastor comes and all of a sudden a hand is laid on him. It's not a hand that is laid on him. It's more than a hand, my brother. If it's just laying on of hands, you go and do it. A hand is laid. He carries that possibility. Enters a land that was not favoring him. And all of a sudden,
things start changing. I am a blessing to you and to the world today simply because of his ability to help me. Ebenezer is my testimony. I am a man who has been helped by God. Helped in every way by God. Ah, he said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, with the enemies that fool the world, with the enemies of the gospel, where do you stand when God does not hold your hand? The results that we now celebrate, glory be to God, but they are products of Him. Listen, if you think good preaching is what is going to give you influence forever, save Johnny. I wish you the best of luck. Go and search the Bible and search history and find people like Alexander Dewey who communicated mysteries that at the end of their lives they were almost committing suicide because even if knowledge abound they will cease knowledge will cease all of these things will cease but when you want to become indestructible in this life hold his hands and do what he tells you to do and walk with him don't command him and say holy spirit my boy go and bring me money that's what many of you are doing holy spirit my boy go and bring me my wife go and bring me my husband Go and bring me members. Go and bring me prosperity. And he says, when I came to you, was I a tenant or the landlord? The word of God, the Holy Ghost was given to us, among other things, to unseal this. For many years, I read my Bible. Did you know, for many years, there were times that I would not even read my Bible for a while. I would just carry the devotional, repent and read it. Do you know why many of you open the Bible and it wearies you? You are looking at it, but you are reading something that is sealed. That's why you cannot get life from it. You will open today, you don't know what to read. No, not when he's guiding you. Tonight, we are going to pray. We are going to take serious time we are going to pray and embrace afresh his ministry in your life his person in your life he is the secret whether you are a businessman whether you are a husband you are a wife you are a man of God you are a woman of God the starting point of your victory is hinged on your passion and your love for him listen let me tell you this before we begin to pray. Listen to me carefully. When I was writing the things that I now do, that the Holy Spirit was revealing to me, at a point in time, I just sat down and I said, Holy Spirit, you must be joking. Is this it? This foolish? I think I'm smart. The thing with God is, the spirit of God is very gentle. The moment you begin to interrupt his wisdom with your I too know mentality, he just steps back. You do it your way. Go ahead and do it your way. Some things in our lives are not just an attack. It's us alone without him. Whether Satan was existing or not is the same trouble you would have. That is the natural consequence of ignoring him. I love him so much. Koinonia is built on intimacy with the Holy Spirit. He's the one who has given the word of God value. Look at what the messages are doing around the world. Do you think that is just because the message is so powerful? No. If he holds your hand, he holds your finances. He holds whatever comes from you. Someone called me the other day and said they were inside a taxi, a cab. And the cabman, every time he picks you, he, he, his own gift to you is that he will play one koinonia message. I don't know the cabman. And he just continued like that. There are people who have met angels who gave them koinonia messages. Not human beings. They entered meetings and gave them messages. I, I was I'm true to, to God. I don't share all these testimonies. I was told of someone who bought a memory card. New memory card. New 
brand new memory card slotted it in his phone and all he saw was koinonia message new memory card with seal seal he opened it i'm not lying to you a pastor from gambia a great a great man of god from gambia we spoke yesterday he said he was so depressed and he got to a point where he was washing plates in his house and he didn't know what to do and all of a sudden he said he, he just went on youtube and how he got across one teaching and as soon as he got that one teaching his life changed he said by next sunday the church changed and exploded he saw the manifestations of the spirit the word seeds were coming and he said who is this he introduced it to his wife the wife listened to the same message he did the wife didn't know the message he had listened to but she went to search on her own and listened to the same message you had the pastor that came last week from abuja just arriving here someone calls him to buy 300 shares it's not the work of a man no sir our parents are struggling now and suffering because they have embraced every other thing except him our our world is dying because we have ignored him don't join them don't join them to ignore him already your past the family background you came from is already a disadvantage on his own the only advantage in your life is him when you find him he will forget about your enemies forget about critics i'm telling you don't waste your time just leave all those things stay with him let him hold your hand my brother my sister and watch what he will do with your church and watch what he will do with your business and watch what he will do you may be crying while you are holding him i guarantee you the cry of pain will soon become the cry of joy you just hold his hands worship him hold his hands as you sing don't carry skill and a nice voice alone we live in a wicked world if all you carry is a nice voice you will not last one year human beings will suck you like an orange and throw you and look for the next happening thing but you remain fresh when you hold him impossible to be ignored impossible to be ignored he's gonna fulfill every My God is able. He truly is able. Listen. Look at me. In Nigeria today, an average young man cannot get established without some kind of bribe or some kind of things. To have to corner and lie and do something. You want to walk in integrity and righteousness the environment is already hostile against you the fact that you name the name of christ alone is trouble for you they will hate you at your workplace hate you everywhere what then is your advantage your advantage is not just the miracles that he brings the advantage is him if you can hold his hands and say holy spirit i am weak i confess my ignorance i don't know so much i know that if i try to be established my way the church will never grow the influence will never grow but i submit to you you are the fountain of wisdom you are the spirit of truth open up to me and then the holy ghost will say all right you step back and then he will show you a b c and your life changes you will stand as shocked as those looking at you and just nod your head and say god what are you doing i hardly share my testimonies i had to minimize it because of wisdom and so that it can encourage people to rise there are things brothers and sisters if i tell you some of you will not sleep i myself the recipient of that testimony sometimes i wake up in the night and just sit on my bed and say lord what is this what is this you are the mighty god
and I come to you. You are the only one who can make meaning out of my life. I come to you. Lift your voice and pray and cry. Cry ah. for his presence in your life. Get tired of things not working in your life and cry for his wisdom. Oh. Cry for Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Cry for his wisdom. Lord, I need you in my life. I need you in my life. I'm tired of making decisions. I'm tired of making decisions. I ask for your will. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Spirit of Truth. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Then the secret was revealed. Daniel did not find it. Then the secret was revealed. Then the secret was revealed. I don't know what area in your life you need to see the hand of God desperately. I like you to open your mouth and say, Lord, show me. There has to be a secret. Open up this scripture. Hey! Open up this scripture. You are the custodian of the wisdom of God. You are the custodian of truth. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me the secret to the anointing. Show me to the secret to increase. 
the secret to ever increasing fire the secret to spiritual power the secret to influence the secret to activating my destiny show me alcohol the book is sealed open my eyes 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 what must I do to prosper what must I do to rise what is the key in the spirit what is the key in the spirit Listen, look up. When Jesus, watch this. When Jesus was transfigured, he showed us the secret to his transfiguration by the appearance of two men. The law and the prophet. Not just the law of Old Testament. That if you want to be transfigured, the principles of the kingdom and the ministry of the prophetic, standing side by side like Moses and the prophet, becomes your key to rising. When Jesus was transfigured, we saw two men. Elijah did not appear. Enoch did not appear. Because they were not responsible. They were not the spiritual mysteries. The Bible says that Moses... Moses stood on one side and Elijah, I meant to say, sorry. Ezekiel and other prophets did not appear. Elijah was standing representing the prophetic. Moses was representing the law. And he said, the book that contains those laws, don't let it depart. He's showing you how to succeed. Jesus did not just rise like that. The law, not just the law of the Old Testament, the precepts of God. You can have all the principles, but there is no prophetic voice, and you remain there. No glory. You can do something that should prosper because there is obedience to principles, but there is no voice. It's like ingredients. If you have rice, you don't need as much tomato as you need rice. But don't put the tomato and say, you can't say you have jollof rice because of that small tomato, including salt. Sometimes you, you need one mutu of rice and then a few spoons of salt. But you refuse to put that salt and see how it will mess up the whole food. Something you may be missing because your eyes have not been opened. You've done everything but the last key to just strike it and open it. That's what I keep doing all the time. That's what I keep doing all the time. When I speak over your life, I'm not repeating myself. When I speak over your life, I'm standing to fulfill all righteousness in the spirit by the wisdom of the spirit. I've taught you that Jesus walked under a closed heaven for 30 years as the word of God until a prophet came to his life and spoke and baptized him immersed him and his heavens were open if jesus operated and opened heavens for 30 years till he met john the baptist in the spirit and power of elijah your destiny will close almost forever until there is a voice listen listen i want you to get to a point in your life where you no longer fight spiritual realities the earlier you learn this the better for you do it before you start having children do it before it gets too bad because darkness for sure is covering the earth and cross darkness the people but upon you the glory of God will continue to arise it's not just because you are a man of God we trade secrets in this kingdom to stand and one of it 
is the Holy Spirit holding you but not just holding you opening to you the mysteries of the kingdom continue to read your Bible but don't think you will find it just by reading you will get to a point where he will give you the eyes to see they are life to those who find them that means he's missing no until he opens it to you i found certain things in my life it was bishop oyedeko that shared with us that he found the key to kingdom prosperity and he spin round and shouted yay i can never be poor i'm sure people laughed at him but you found it if you found it you found it i want you to succeed i want you to excel i'm showing you the precepts of the kingdom listen take luck out of it don't call what you don't understand luck that's arrogance there is a very serious dynamic working that you are not aware does not mean nothing is being engaged you will see what will begin to happen to your life shortly when men say why is it happening like this don't lie that you don't know what you did yes it is it is the lord's doing that's why it is marvelous a man's doing cannot be marvelous in your eyes a man's doing is natural that's why i don't clap for you for walking because it's a man's doing men walk naturally born again or not but there are results that when we see we know that this one is the finger of god rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do this except god be with him it's a message i want you to carry to everyone you love jesus said come on to me are you seeing now come on he, he, he does not wisdom cry come on to me why will you continue to suffer and struggle listen i'm bringing us to a point where we fulfill proverbs chapter 3 from verse 5 to 7 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not he's giving you a word of caution oh wise man lean not on your own understanding he says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path he said, be not wise in your own understanding, verse 7. He said, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It is because we are wise in our own understanding. If God does not lead me, I don't have where to go. I don't trust what I can do. I will mislead people with my ignorance. But when he comes, you can dare the unbearable. You can stand and look at Goliath and say, Goliath, you come against me with your bows and your spheres but i come against you in the name of the lord god the captain of the host of heaven whom you have defied and goliath you don't mind him while he's talking am i a dog that you are coming with a sling say just keep watching it's the same way god can give you an instruction by the holy ghost you've been dancing all the time but the holy ghost will wake you by two and say just dance to 2 30. it's not the ordinary dance you just finished dancing that dance will give you twins that dance will give you an estate and if people ask you how did you get it you say i dance they say please don't turn us into idiots how did you get it i know you did all those church things i said well, should i lie i'm telling you how i did it the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom I want to release my faith with you in one minute i want you to be sensitive to from today till sunday but i want you to ask the lord for three major things that you want to see done in your life things that don't ask for small things carnal things ask for something that is destiny shifting ask for something that that is able you know elisha had no business Gehazi had no business ha having his eyes open but when he was close to Elisha the prophet he said I'm not seeing what you are seeing and he said okay let me make your eyes see he didn't say just mm, take advantage of my spiritual climate and see what I'm seeing a 
a man came in the midst of Samuel where a prophet was and all of a sudden the hand of God was upon him he prophesied naked from morning till night not because he had been praying and fasting people have prophetic implications everybody walks with the spiritual climate that they carry I want you to be humble enough to pray and ask God some of you is your family you are crying for an intervention that must step in I'm going to give you the next let's use the next five minutes I truly am going to be interceding for you I'm not praying for myself I just want you to pray and agree lift your voice and pray don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time go ahead and pray hallelujah listen you are going to pray but many of you i am you're not you're not it's not the zest of prayer let me tell you something they met the disciples of jesus and say why don't these guys fast we are fasting and these guys are eating yet they are getting the results we are not getting and jesus said for as long as the bridegroom is there so there is something the presence of the bridegroom can do there is an advantage you can take the bridegroom is the one who the marriage feast is for are we together now the covenant of the marriage is with the bridegroom but because you are supporting through a covenant of alignment he's saying there are some things that you may not need to do when the bridegroom is not there in other words i'm not ignoring that principle it is what you should have done except for the fact that another presence was introduced that can immune you from it i needed to share that scripture just to help you there are some things that ordinarily that's the way you are supposed to do but god brings men to your life that you can take advantage of and expedite your journey ordinarily the disciples were to fast jesus said i'm not fighting fasting they will fast one day but for now as long as i am here uh -uh. there are people that when you are around i know people that just because you are around them you may never read any book on finances i'm telling you sincerely except you just want to add to your knowledge the least the their their greatest state is still higher than your greatest dream their presence if you meet prince charles and prince harry and say i just got you a book on five levels of wealth he will congratulate you for being that courageous to enter the buckingham palace and say walk out of this place do you know why because as long as they are in the palace if they are out of the palace they will do a lot of reading but as long as they are in the palace I teach you mysteries always find out what advantage you have based on who you are connected to not just God alone there are some things you are doing that if you have knowledge you should not be doing you should have others may be doing it if I'm a pastor in living faith today I, there are some things I should not do if I'm a pastor in MFM today and I have problem with my prayer life, I think something is wrong. There is a grace I should drink from freely. If I'm not a pastor in that place, I may need to dissipate some energy. But when God calls men, he calls men with certain possibilities. And when you come within that covering, that thing should work for you. I keep drumming this thing, but many people don't get it. It's true. It's true find out those who are genuinely connected to this anointing there are things they before they even learned the principle the result was already speaking it's true as long as the bridegroom is there you are immune when the bridegroom leaves so you can learn the principle so that you are not just dependent helplessly on the bridegroom but you can take advantage of the presence of the bridegroom You can carry a handkerchief from Benny Hinn and put in your pocket and enter a meeting and be surprised yourself at what is happening. Simply because you made contact. Do you not see that God will be wicked to allow you pray for everything? No. I don't pray for everything in my life. 
there are things that you can get jacob and esau those two guys they were not praying for the blessing they were connected to a lineage that had it the father didn't say okay you guys he said just go and make me venison let me release something on you look at this esau did not receive the blessing yet see the prosperity that came the fact that he came out physically that's why ishmael today will the residue of that prophecy must always follow him there are things that should happen in your life my brother my sister there are some things that god has done for you already walking trying to save yourself from sin by your strength is unnecessary it was done by those who the bridegroom did not come for so they use the blood of bulls but now christ has come and that sacrifice that you just receive that's the same way there are other things that has been done he gave gifts to men to ease their journey there are things in life are you ready to pray our time is gone i want you to open your mouth and pray pray unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come the Bible says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet he shall receive a prophet's reward he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man he shall receive a righteous man's reward Pray. Shapakoto sobrata kashubi adabaladaba. The Bible says, "May the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Send thee help from Zion." Abalado sada bakato she adabalakotiya. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. For this cause, many are weak. For this cause, many are sick. For this cause, many do sleep. Pray believing. Pray believing. Who are down mountain before Zerubbabel? Who are down mountain before this man of God? Who are down mountain before this woman of God? Who are down mountain before this family? Who are down mountain before this business? Who are down mountain? Hallelujah. Jesus looked at Peter and said, Peter, 
satan desire to sift you like wheat but he said but i have prayed for you if he could pray for himself on that issue jesus would not need to pray god doesn't need to do for you what you can do for yourself are we together he said satan has desire to sift you like wheat he said but i have prayed for you what was the content of the prayer that thy faith fail not he said and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren how do you strengthen them by teaching them that there are some things you cannot do for yourself and when you find what you cannot do for yourself find the grace that can make it happen for you peter i see you in a situation now i see that your capacity cannot go far enough to give you that miracle so i came in for you in this similitude advocate this mystery when you see people trying things and it's not working tell them stop 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 in this kingdom is all right to be helped find a grace Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat. And as far as your level is concerned, Satan would have, he already had a headway. But I came in, Kabbalah Kutia, and prayed for you that your faith fail not. He said, when you are strengthened. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. One of the most uncomfortable things for believers to learn, especially because of the teachings that we've had, um, of course the Bible says you can do all things I believe the Bible says that because of the provisions that God has put in the kingdom are we together now yes when I say I will serve you jollof rice it's not just because I can cook it's because there is a way of getting it available the most important thing is that you have it so when the Bible says all things are possible it's because of the possibilities he invested within the kingdom are we together one of it one of the mysteries that make all things possible is the ability to tap from higher graces you are getting there one day but if God is to allow you get there before you get the result Satan will eat you up before you get there are we together so Jesus as a baby could not pray for himself so God put a grace in Hannah the prophetess to continue interceding until he would grow in wisdom as a baby he was killable so god had to put men to agree when he became strong he started standing for others when the disciples were weak in themselves jesus stood for them when they became strong they stood for others too that's how it works in the kingdom believe all the possibilities of the bible but be sincere enough to know what possibilities are available at your level of grace and then you are able to find the grace and the anointing that can supplement otherwise you will stand in pride believing all things are possible and it may not work for you father in the name of jesus i pray for your people as inspired by you i have had I've asked them to pray. Lord, you hear me when I call. In the name that is above all names, surprise them. In the name that is above all names, I declare from today till Monday that God has made my birthday. In the name that is above all names, help them please. I'm declaring that all those who are connected to this ministry all those who are connected to this vision and connected to this anointing enter a level of strange wonders strange wonders strange wonders listen hallelujah you see i'm sharing with you many mysteries tonight hold on i'm praying for you bad days are times when unusual requests are granted read your bible there were certain requests that only happened at birthdays when a king was celebrating his birthday a girl danced before him ordinarily the king would not remove the head of a prophet but on a birthday season something happened 
when Jesus was about to be born, star that would not shine that much unusually came to the sky because a child was about to be born. Listen. This kingdom is governed by mysteries. Birthdays are not just the days when men are born. Birthdays are signified by things in the spirit. Those who study Scientology know. Those who study all of these things know. Except that man is not relevant to the program of God. The same way covenants are enacted. 25th December, let everybody die in this family. By 24th, someone starts getting sick because 25th is coming. Are you seeing? And 25th, a father dies. Next year, 20th, the spirit that is responsible for activating that covenant comes around again and someone starts falling sick. So it is. Bad days are not just a celebration of the day a man was born. A whole prophet had his head removed by a small girl. Could the king have granted her that request ordinarily? What would she be doing in the presence of a king? But because it was the king's birthday. If you understand what I'm teaching you, I'm saying this so that those hearing, especially online, will not say, is this man idolizing this? You know, sometimes I'm even a bit scared to share some of these things because I, I, I want to make sure that I am understood so that people don't say, I'm making you maybe worship a man or something. No, I fear God. But this is how this kingdom works. So I pray again that between now and Monday the 25th, in the name that is above all names, by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the power that backs up this ministry, the grace that has helped me in the name of Jesus, may my God bring strange signs and wonders to your life. Strange signs and wonders in your finances. Strange signs and wonders in your life. I speak to you that the things that were difficult for you before, in a way that will surprise you, you will enter a dimension of ease in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that this prophetic word be signified by the angels of the Lord and let there be a strange performance. Testimonies after testimonies. Hallelujah. You watch the testimonies that will be shared on Monday service here and it will look as if it's a charm. Someone will tell you, I believe this prayer and I went, look what God has done in my life. Look how God has changed me. Look how God has opened doors. I even pray for your loved ones that are not here. In the name of Jesus, we connect them to this possibility by the power of the Holy Spirit. Wave your hands and give Jesus thanks. We have to close for the night. Hallelujah. While standing, everyone, what a joy to be able to win a soul to Jesus within this period. There's someone in here, overflow one, two, three, who needs Jesus desperately. And someone online, you are celebrating a man who gave his life to Jesus Christ. What a privilege. I don't know what my life would have become if I didn't hand over my life to Jesus. I would have been dead, I'm sure. Long dead, forgotten. But I gave my life to him and he gave me his own life. I want to pray for you. Give me the opportunity to lead you to Jesus. You are in this place tonight and you have never made a genuine decision for Jesus. Or peradventure, you've given your life to Christ but at one point or the other, things just went haywire in your life. And you are saying, Apostle, I need to reconnect, especially in this season. We have two minutes for you. Aside from overflow three that I would request that you walk to your projector stand, overflow one and two and the main auditorium here, please appreciate them as they make their way to the front. Someone has to be coming tonight. God bless you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please, quickly. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. God bless you, sir. Are you clapping for them, Koinonia? If you are coming from outside, please make it snappy. God bless you. Young and old, you are welcome. Come. Come to Jesus. One minute. 
I'm counting to four. One. Two. If you're coming from outside, please run. Mama, God bless you. Three. You must be born again. Let him give you a new beginning and change your life. Hallelujah. God bless you. If you are joining them, please join them very quickly. I want to pray for them now. You're online about to make this great decision. Join them also. As I pray this prayer, I want you to join them with all your heart. Those of you in front here, please lift your hand and say after me, very sincerely from your heart, say, Lord Jesus. Say it again, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. And I believe that you are the son of God. Tonight, I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. I receive your life and I declare that from tonight and forever I go forward ever and backward never I'm a child of God I'm saved in the name of Jesus help that madam Lord Jesus thank you for this glorious decision that they have made I present to you the ones you died for and I pray that the grace that saves, the grace that keep, and the grace that lift, let these graces be at work in your life. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven. And I declare by the authority of scripture that you are a new creation. The old is past and everything has become new. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord honor you, cause you to love him and to continually walk in his ways. In Jesus' name I pray amen and amen please follow the gentleman waving his hands everyone and um, there'll be a few people to receive you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kete kotos. Kete branda kata pa kotos koto pray kete kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.